Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and this is my video tour of the Chambersburg Mall, located in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. In a series of hauntings in a most unlikely location, an ordinary toy store in Sunnyvale, California. Elizabeth. Hello. <gasps> Who's there? Did you stack them like that? <gasps> You have to go towards the light, <laughs> Yanni. You have to go towards the light to find Beth. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay, here we are entering the Chambersburg Mall. Finally, we had a little trouble at the first entrance. It was completely locked, but this entrance luckily was open. You'll see a lot of buckets in this video. The mall is leaking all over the place, but the plants look wonderful. All that water coming down from the ceiling really makes a difference. Anyway, in 2009, US News and World Reports listed the Chambersburg Mall as one of the 10 most endangered malls in the US. The fact that in 2023, this mall is still open is something to be marveled at. Amazing. There's one store left inside of this mall. It is an art gallery. It's only open every once in a while. The AMC movie theater, which was located in the mall, closed on April 16th. So all that's left is the sporadically open gallery and the Black Rose Antique Store, which you can't get in through the mall. You have to go use the exterior entrance to go shopping for those little vintage knickknacks. This mall opened in 1982. It started with a Hess's, a GB, and a Carmike Cinema. Bonton was added in 85. Sears joined the mall in 1991. In the early 90s, Hess's closed all of their stores, and they were replaced here by JCPenney. Sears closed in 2014 and it was replaced by the Black Rose Antique Store. J.C. Penney closed in the summer of 2015. Bonton closed in 2018. The GB became Value City in 1992, and they closed in 2001. The Burlington Coat Factory replaced GB or I think GB turned into Burlington Coat Factory. They opened in 2001 and then Burlington closed in 2019.
I'll tell you what, there were some creepy little places in here. And I gotta say, this is probably, besides Cincinnati Mills, probably the the most dead mall I've been to. This here is a Friday night. I posted a small clip of this on TikTok at This Is Dan Bell. It received over 100,000 likes. Um, this mall plays 80s and 90s pop music and they literally blare the music down the corridors. So Cher happened to be on singing, Do You Believe in Life After Love? <laughs> Echoing through an empty mall on a Friday night. If we had gone back to another time, we would have found that unimaginable. But here it is happening today, all over the United States. My job is never done. Here is the center stage, the center of the mall. Now on the other side of the stage, the back side behind that flag, is the Bonton. And up here in this next shot, you can see there's the old stage lights when they had performances. wonder if Tiffany ever came here. Or Debbie Gibson. And here is the Bonton. Quite a uh, stark vision here, looking at this. And here we are on the other side. Headed down towards the former AMC Theater. And look at this old information desk. No more information is needed. It's closed, baby. AMC and you can see all the wet mop signs and the buckets and trash receptacles catch capturing dripping water here's Bonanza I, I assume this was a restaurant at one time I'm sure those familiar with the mall will fill everybody in and as we move here towards those doors you can see a movie poster for cocaine bear <laughs> I wanted to see it but I didn't see it cocaine bear Looking here, this is, uh, see the sign up here? This is for the old mall walkers. So they knew how many miles they did if they kept pacing around the mall. They'd have a sign up on the, <laughs> on the ceiling. <laughs> Telling them <laughs> how many miles <laughs> they walked through this godforsaken ante room. <laughs> Liminal space nightmare. I love the uh, the old floors in here, the terrazzo floors. <laughs> here is Bath and Body Works closed. Look inside, it's so creepy, look at that. That is crazy.
this master cuts here. It looks like they just up and left, left everything in in the in the salon. Look at that. Here's a nice view down at the other end of this very wide open space of nothingness. What a strange, strange place this is. And the fact that I drove two and a half hours to get here. I was quite scared when those doors didn't open. I said, here we go. I mean, this end of the mall is shut down. That's why we couldn't get in the doors at the other end, but uh, it's just a mess. I mean, Water's been dripping for years out of the ceiling. It's discolored the terrazzo floors. It looks absolutely horrible. And uh, here's a small office customer service sign with <laughs> buckets in front. We've reached the end of this video. Thank you guys so much. Hope to see you on Patreon. Until next time. <sighs>